thank you for stopping by. Bon dia. Bon dia. Uh, it's not a bad setting for an interview, is it? It's no, it's a perfect place. <laughs> I miss Manchester, the rain <laughs> and the windy. <laughs> <laughs> You've been here a couple of days. Yeah. Uh, how's the mood in the camp? Yeah, perfect. I think we need it a little bit. Uh, after uh, winter time in Manchester, so a lot of games, the Boxing Days and so on. So, uh, like we could not play it as we can. So it was it was short, but it was nice. The people enjoyed it a lot. We changed a little bit and uh, ready to come back. Lots of smiley faces out there. Where, where, how do you assess the season? Where are we in the season? Are you happy with where the, the team is? A lot. A lot. We will be to be the gap again in, in the Premier League will be closer, but uh, in the gap between the players are behind us in the, that moment will be bigger. So, but the Premier League is so tough, but uh, especially how they compete, they played. Uh, not in the important games when they were amazing in the Premier League, in the a, in a, in a Champions League. Even uh, the important in the games, what sometimes it's difficult to be focused, to be mentally in good, uh, good approach. They were they were standing, so it's no complaint. It's a pleasure, like a manager, to work with that guy. It's, it's a, a real pleasure. What have you learned? What what's the big thing you've learned from being in England for these nine months? No, what the, I think, like a manager, what we learn is is, is uh, uh, about your players. So yeah. of course, every country has his special things. The competition is tough uh, for many reasons, but uh, in Spain is tough as well, and Germany, and when I've been. So, in everywhere it has his difficult, difficult issues. But uh, what I, the reason why I'm coach, I'm manager, or I think all the managers is a day by day on the field with the players, the relation with them, the way we want to play to try to get him better, improve. And you see, uh, you can imagine that in the next time, in the next seasons, will be better and better. That is the reason why we are managers. That's why I'm so delighted to work with them. Can we talk a little bit about um, the bonding of the players? So you come into a dressing room where you don't know anyone, yeah. and now you know them a lot better. Yeah. How have they bonded as a group? Yeah, when, when you arrive, it's, 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 it's so difficult to take decisions because at the end, you don't know them. You have an, uh, an, an uh, image, an idea, what you have seen in the past on the field, of the pitch when the people talk about, but you have to know them to be fair and to be clear. And now, of course, my decisions are, have more fundamentals no? about, yeah. about, about that. Uh, when you arrive, it's try to, okay, guys, we're going to live in that way, we're going to try to play in that way and try to enjoy our, because that at the end is a game. How that, do you get in their minds? How do you, as a manager, get in, the, in 24, 25 different players, different ages, some are fathers, some, different, are, different some are young countries, boys, different, different countries. mentalities, yeah. yeah. How, do, how do you do that? That is the deal, you know, that is the deal. It's sometimes, uh, uh, sometimes you are able to convince them, sometimes not. So they have to, to put something on the table to, to be convinced or to be part of something you want to do. Yeah. So what I was, completely focused on the beginning and said we have to think in just in one way. We cannot think in different ways and uh, because at the end the tactics is of course it's important but it's not the most important thing. And uh, from the beginning I felt that everybody follow us, the staff, the people. So I am really impressed for example the staff that we have. So the, the doctors, the physios, the, the, the sports analysis, uh, all the people he's working with and helping the players, pff, the commitment. Uh, uh, I'm delighted. In that sense, I don't, I don't have any, any complaints about, about that. I am a privileged guy to work with, not just with the players, for that guys, and, uh, and try every day the problems we have, try to solve, try to sometimes be clear, because we have to be clear with them, yeah. because to know, what, to know me or to know what we want to do, you have to be straight, you have to be clear what you have to do. And, uh, but they accept that and that's why um, it's, it's okay. And you change little things. I mean, we've read about some of them in the press, the Wi-Fi, the diet, the nutrition. Mm. I mean, take the Wi-Fi for instance, or switch it or switch it. Tell me if it's true first. Did you, did you order the Wi-Fi? No, there are, there are places that I don't like. So I know today, 
your generation, my generation is completely different than, than, than my kids' generation. So the, the, the mobile, the computer is part of their lives. So before you read the books, now they are in the yeah. computer. But there are some areas like, uh, of course, they, my players, our players, they kind of spend with the mobile all day. But there are some players, the massage room, for example, with the physios where they work. I don't like uh, uh, one physio working with the players and the players yeah, texting. Yeah. Or, so the day is enough long. We are three, four hours together in yeah. the morning, five hours. We have tw 10 hours more, 12 more to answer the messages. So, but uh, I understand as well. So I understand the players has Everybody has his yeah, devices. We all do. And we all do. We all yeah, live on of our course, phones. of course. You talk about your generation mm. and, and the players I knew as when I was watching City growing up. Yeah. No one got off a coach with headphones on. No yeah. got, one got off a coach with a phone. The players went out drinking. They went out having to nightclubs at different times. I know, but does what you did help them bond so they talk to each other more now? Do you think your players talk to each other more than they did when you got here? Yes, they, they agree. So it's not to say we're going to do that, I'm going to say that, I'm going to, to because I'm, I'm the manager. No, I, I try to, if we're going to do that for that reason. Only that, for respect, for the, your, your staff are working with you, they're caring you, they live for you. So you have to respect the people who's working with you for 20 minutes, 25 minutes, it's nothing special. Of course they need and they have to use it because today, today the social media is so important for the clubs, for the players, for everybody. So, What about media in general? What about you and the media in general? I mean, every movement you make on the touchline, we've seen it here in Abu Dhabi even, every, every time you sit down, every time you go anywhere, clicks, cameras, phones. No, but here, here, here is, uh, we are a preview, here is much, much better. Yeah. I think in Europe we, would be more controlled than, 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 than here. I think here is not, uh, here is so relaxed in the hotel, you have the training camp, the pitch in one minute, the people can do so. Uh, here the media is, uh, it's, it's completely But how different. do you cope with it in general? I mean, you, presumably you've been, in the, you've been in the game a long time, you were a player, a very yeah. famous player, you know what the media wants, but yeah. you know, do you ever get time to be private? Yeah, I have a private life, it's okay. Yeah. The people respect, so we sometimes go for Dean's Gate and they make me some pictures and the people ask and... But it's, that is not a problem. You don't so, mind that? No, the people but, respect our private lives a lot. Do you think the, the, the media, the, the globalisation of the media means that managers are not going to be around for as long? So Alex Ferguson was a manager for yeah. 30 years, yeah. 40 years. Yeah. You know, you said... I, I don't know, I you don't said know. You said yeah. you, you will yeah. stop at some yeah. point. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I don't know. I don't know if uh, what would happen. I think in the past it was more relaxed. Today is increased. Before it was uh, four journalists, there is 40. Yeah. It was two cameras, now there are 20. Mm. It, was, it was one radio, I said 10. Uh, so, and the Twitter and Instagram and everybody making an opinion. So yeah. that's why you have to be a part yeah. and focus in your private life and your family and of yeah. course in your job. If not, you became crazy. But one of the, ways, one of the ways you get away is playing golf. Yeah. I believe you've had a game while you've been in Abu Dhabi. How did that, yeah, how, how did that go? I just spend my time, my free time. Uh, the most important thing, the players didn't see me, I didn't see them. <laughs> that is the most important. I didn't see my staff, my staff didn't see me, that's the most important. With Brian Kidd, we make a good, good games yeah. in, a, in a beautiful golf course. And, uh, Sadiat, was it? Yeah, yeah. we were there and... Uh, and, and you won, I, I, I'm, I hear you won, is that, is that correct? No, no, he beat me. Who did? Brian, Brian beat, beat you. me, he's an amazing player. He's an English player. I never met an English player who don't play good golf, yeah. so it's impossible to do that. You need to keep your eye on him, maybe he's sneaking but off. No, no, he beat me, no, but I'm honest. <laughs> and golf is a game I know that fascinates you? The mind, is it the mind part of the, ge the game that interests you most? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I, I, I love the golf for many reasons. First, for the environment, for the peace you play, you are mm. in nature. The second one, for there are no referees there. The, the rules is for everybody. So in our games, it's being influenced for the decisions for the referees too much. And uh, in a good ways, in a bad ways. So I'm not, I'm not, I'm not saying about uh, it's fair and fair is what it is, okay? 
uh, but there is no rules and we start in the same moment, in the same places, it's, as much, it's less strokes <laughs> you yeah. do to win the goal you're going to win the tournament. So that is the first, the rules it doesn't matter what it is, it's the important team, no team, important managers, no managers, it influence the media, no influence the media, there it's, it's the first, it's, I think it's the first game I ever met and after that is you compete with yourself and of course I think it's a, a, a mental tough, tough, tough game and I think uh, all the managers for other sports, you can learn a lot about how important is the what the people say. You know, to be in the present, to the the next one is the most important thing. What happened in the past and the the shot before, good or bad, doesn't count. And uh, the routines, to be always positive. It doesn't matter what happened behind before is your game because no no influence for the opponents or no influence for. For, that's why it's uh, it's so you, fascinating and uh, and uh, of course it's uh, you can translate that into football. So uh, some some of yeah. some of the I, I think so because at the end it's in the sport and at the end is a is you like uh, like uh, your your brain your mind in the game and uh, I think the psychologist in in the golf is so so important. I don't know how involved is in the in football because football golf is the ball is a stop. It's not the opening cam, not the referee to take a decision. In football, instead, it's, 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 it's everybody move and, and opponents yeah. come here, there for the other part. It's, you know, it's, it's, it's completely different. Yeah. So golf is you are alone and they're your teammates. So. Yeah. And you see in the big tournaments, sometimes it's the mental breakdown that stops players, yeah. stops players winning. Yeah, that's true. That's and true. plus, in golf, no, in golf, it's so difficult to see one player to win two or three games in a row. It was yeah. one period like Tiger Boot when he arrived, he was able to win 10 yeah, or 9 or 10 when everybody unusual. was in love. And now it's, I think it's impossible uh, to, to, to see that, no? how the, the players, that, that means how difficult it is. Everybody can win. Yeah. And I think the future in football, in a basketball, is going to happen. It's like NBA, you know, it's difficult to see. Okay, Michael Jordan period won three and three and, and sometimes with the Lakers, with Kobe Bryant, but I think Last season, two years ago, when Golden State, now it's Cleveland, we're going to see next season. And I think the football is going to happen, and the sports in general is going to happen. Uh, because today, the competition, the competitors, the players are much, much better. Everybody has a lot of budgets to spend a big, big money. Everybody knows for everybody. We know each other. We know more the secrets than the other ones. So you cannot hide the secrets for the opponents. So that's why we'll be always more, more, more. So people talk about fine margins, little percentages, whether yeah. it's change of diet or a change of routine. Is that, is that how it is? Is it those small things can make such a big difference? Yeah, yeah of, of course, of course. So I would like to, to give the players to, to eat whatever you want, to do whatever you want. In the past that happened, when the past don't play his amount of play, games yeah. now in that moment of playing and didn't play in this high intensity. So the players in the past run seven, eight kilometers per game now playing 12 and 30 kilometers, yeah. so it's almost the double. Yeah. And the energy we spend is uh, higher and you need to recover that, uh, that energy. And of course, the, the little details make an influence in the food, in the way you rest. And that's why you have, uh, you have to try to control as much as possible what we control. Because the gap is so different. The last game against Monaco, for example, we are 1-1. One, one. Uh, we have a penalty, one of the most incredible penalties I ever seen in my life. It's no penalty. You pass the maybe two one, two one two. Yeah. In the right moment, they have a penalty, and they have a, the the one three, three uh, two two. Yeah. So w what is the difference of, of that? We didn't score a goals in a set pieces in the corners. We scored two goals in the corners. So uh, football <laughs> is uh, the, the little details, uh, yeah. and, and we did in in we won five three, and we could lose and at the end we we would we, we prepare the game in the same way yeah. so that's why the the the, the, the gap the, the the line is so so, so thin small. and you have to try to to be there to control as much as possible you've mentioned the future and the way football might go can we just talk about the youth at manchester city yeah so they got to the semi-finals of the youth cup yeah. they beat aston villa the other night yeah. i've i've met you at games you've yeah. you've, you've watched them a lot how I think, I think Manchester City has to be so proud, believe me. I am, I am new here, it's not a long time. I am really impressed the work of all the people in Manchester, the English people, for a long time here. 
the new people working here about the academy, about how they are working. And I think there are four or five players. Of course, they are young, with 60, 17, 18 years old. Mm. But there are four or five that will be delighted to be for a long time here and give them the hand to, to, to put on the field, to feel protect with the manager, with the experienced guys in the first team and play them. Because so, I know how important it is to have for the fans, yeah. for the people have people who grew up yeah. from, the, from the academy. Yeah. And they have to know we are there. Yeah. So we cannot put them where they are not uh, talent. We cannot put them if they are not uh, able uh, or, or willing to take that, that challenge too. But we are there and, uh, and, and uh, we are good and they are good enough and they have a passion and they want to become, they want to live for that, they want to become something in Europe, something in the, in the world football to play. They have to know, all the players, the academy, we are there and they have to know that. Might, it depends might on them. you take some of them on tour this summer? Will they graduate that quickly? Is that a possibility? Who? So, some of the, that, the under yeah. 18, some yeah. of them may be in your first team squad next season or on in the, the summer camp yeah four or five guys will come we are coming with us That's but that. it depends on them yeah so they've got to work hard so which brings me to young players in so go younger than that all children like kicking a football don't they how old is old enough to start playing competitive football uh, and do that, we start them too young that is not age for example messi started with 16 years old competitive so yeah. but messi is of course an exceptional of course, I think that guys, you have not put the pressure. You have to, to, to live or, or let them his body make for himself. Not yeah. because they're going to spend more hours in the gym. They will be stronger and faster. Forget about it. So the nature is more intelligent than our job. And the guy who is fast will be fast. And the guy who will be taller will be taller. And the guy who will be stronger will be stronger. When? year by year by year. The important is the talent. And the talent, they have the talent. And that is, uh, of course, sometimes maybe it's a, a big, big problem. It's not just the talent is enough, and not what the, their manager say it's enough, or not the social media say it's enough, or their, not what the city TV say it's enough. <laughs> yeah. So it's enough. Sometimes it's a mistake. Yeah. So they are going to come, and they have to know they are not good enough still. They have a big gap to yeah. improve because I was I was a manager with IRC player with 28, 29 years old, and even there with 32 players were better yeah. players because right. they were able to learn. So sometimes we believe, okay, that guy is good with 17 years old, go in the first team, and we believe he's ready. Yeah. No, no, no. They are just a 10%. Of what about play. little children, though? Is it, is it, can you play too much competitive football, organised football, when you're seven or eight no. years old? In can, that, could in, you fall out of love with football? No, in that age, what they have today is just play. Yeah. And play as much as possible. Yeah. In the street, I don't know which way it's possible. In our period, was much <laughs> better. today, I don't know. And play and play and play. Yeah. And that's all. And making mistakes. And play day after night. Yeah. Uh, that is what I have to do, and let them. And some advice is about behavior, some advice is about, okay, we're going to play in that way to understand the game, of course. As much, as, as quick as possible, try to, to, to tactics, to understand the game, why we decide to do that or not in the other way. That is, uh, uh, and I think, I think the players will believe they have the talent as much as possible train with the good players yeah. with the first team yeah. did you get more pleasure out of winning a trophy or seeing a player you've coached reach his full potential with the titles with this kind of players <laughs> so you want both that is both, yeah, that's true. in the professional way i understand completely the the, the, the people who win titles and prices that's why we're here i understand yeah. completely but uh of course, the pleasure is the pleasure to be to feel you help that guy to give you the opportunity. But at the end, they deserve the opportunity. Yeah. I'm not a guy to say I give you because that is a, a real world, and they have to deserve that to be there. But they deserve, and you can. And, and after that, they make his career, their careers, and you maybe help them a little bit to do that or give you the opportunity. At the end, sometimes you think too much about how important we are, and at the end. If they are good 
have a good mentality and they love the game. Yeah. They love the game, not like a profession. To be there like an, an ama, ama, amateur. Yeah, an amateur. An amateur. Yeah. So love because when they are six, seven years old, they play football, they have fun. Yeah. And still they have that spirit every single day in their careers. And after that, they do for them. But if maybe they believe you help a little bit, that is a big pleasure, of course, that is a big pleasure. So when Pep Guardiola is finished with this, the glamour and the money of the big professional leagues and he's on the golf course five days a week, would there be a Pep Guardiola Academy? Would you ever? Maybe. It's the, maybe it's the only way I will... Uh, maybe I would like to finish where I start. Yeah. But that has happened when I will be, of course, in the way we're going to live. I will not move more. And uh, the maybe so so uh, because I love in, for the next years I will be I'll be manager but uh, but maybe I will finish what I will start yeah because yeah. someone told me they were driving back with you from a press conference at City yeah and you said stop the car you just wanted to watch young players yeah. doing their work yeah because the pleasure the, the most pleasure the most to see one player with good quality when you can imagine how good can be. So and, and, and be with them and, and his eyes, how they listen, what we, we tell them, that is a huge pleasure. Like a, it's like a teacher, you know, in the school, the yeah. mathematics yeah, yeah. and the history is there and uh, teaching something and you see one student when I like the most about the history, about yeah. that professor, that teacher is will be more involved in that guy. And you hear you, know? you hear people on TV and yeah. say, this teacher was the biggest influence in my life. Yeah, the same for a football coach. That's yeah? the same as the football, of course. Because we need someone, you know, be, behind us or in front of us to have go in that way because I think we're going to... Uh, maybe after that, that is going to happen because football is so competitive and maybe the level will not be enough. Or maybe you're mistaken your decisions, it's just like this. But... That is the wow, the most beautiful thing and to see the. I was in the academy in Barcelona and see the players dreaming to be there and how they come to every training session and 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 they, they, how they try to follow you. That is that is. So uh, when people talk about the Cruyff method or the Cruyff way, twenty years time they might be saying the Guardiola way, maybe with kids. But, 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 but I don't I don't think so because the influence of Johan Cruyff was, was huge. He changed the mentality for the two clubs, like a football player, like a manager. I exhausted them in Barcelona. And his influence is not comparable. He was the most influenced person in the world football in the last 50, 60 years. Nobody can compare with him. Influence on the pitch when he's a coach, but a manager with a lot, a lot of players. So a lot of players we were in his church, in his hands, in his mind, in his passion. Most of them now we are coaches. And, uh, and thankful to him. His, uh, his tribute, uh, we, we can never pay what he has done for us, never. On the sidelines as a manager, you nicely, well, we're matching today, except you fit yours better than I fit mine. No. <laughs> How do you decide what you wear on the touchline? We've seen the cap, we've seen the, the D squared coat, we've seen loafers, we've seen the tracksuit. No, but the square provided me for a long time. Yeah. The, the suit now is a partner from Manchester this City yeah. and I have a relation with them. They are so, so good. We're so kind. And uh, What about the cap? Where's that coming? That's like a nod to Northern England. Northern. Yeah, yeah, the cap. I have to I have to use it, the British cap. Yeah, I have to absolutely. use it. But yeah. sometimes I am a little bit shy what the people <laughs> are going to talk. But maybe, maybe next winter yeah. I'm going to use because now sometimes I'm cold. I don't have hair <laughs> and I'm cold. I have yeah. to use it. Just getting back to the, the football, we're getting to the part of the season where we're still in three competitions. Yeah. It's getting very serious. Thankfully, we've not got too many long-term injuries. Where do you see the season ending? What are your hopes for the rest of the season? Bob, I would like to compete well. I would like to, so now it's coming the real part of the season if you are able to rev in April, May to compete to win the titles. If we miss now, we are not able. So the gap in Chelsea is so big in the Champions League, in the Premier League. So they miss a few times in the important games against them. And Tottenham, for example, at home, that was the reason why the gap is there when we deserve to win. And the cup is always the finals and the Champions League, of course, now we have a first game, we have a a terrible game in Monaco, so because the level in that competition is so tight, yeah. it is so level. But I want to see the team with competing well. We, we have done 
in the last month, a month and a half. How, so how we can, the people can say Manchester City play good or bad, yeah. like or not like. But, but uh, you cannot say that people was there until the end and fight. Even in Leicester game, 4-0, for 4-2, for we were there to go to 4-3. And always we were there. Always we were there. And that is what I want to see until the end of the season. And how important can the fans be in that? Because you were geeing them up at the Etihad a few weeks back. But can the fans play a proper big part in, in the end of the season? They should know that. Or they have to know that. So we are stronger with them. So. Amazing atmosphere against Monaco. It was amazing. Yeah. That's why. Yeah. That's why we, we make what we make. They love the club more than me. So that's why they have to be with us. They have to be. We want to be with them. We want to be with them. In against Swansea game, for yeah. example, and against the last, we scored three goals in the last 10, 15 minutes. Yeah. And he had the strongest standing for the opponents. And we can. We cannot achieve. We cannot achieve the targets in terms of the way we want to play in the terms of the title without them. No way. It's impossible. Preparations for next season, are they running parallel? Are you already planning for next season? Yeah, I am planning, Chick is planning, the, the staff is planning, of course. Uh, the money had to, to, to have one eye in the short, in the medium and the long term. As, well, ju just if I may, can I just ask you about that? So when you buy a player this summer, are you buying him for the next season or are you buying him for three seasons? Or no, you... come on, you're buying for the long term. Yeah. So that's why Leroy is here and Raj is here and Legabel is here. Yeah. All the 20 years old, and, uh, except one or two cases, we will all because sometimes we need the experience. Of course, we, we have to buy the age is so important. Maybe we're going to play a guy with 28, 29 years old, but we are sure in that position is not too many and we're going to give us two or three or four important years. But of course, as young as possible, they are much, much better. So that planning's actually on the way all the time? Of course, because we were here with uh, the owner, with the chairman, and, um, and they told me again, we create something just for the beginning. Yeah. For the beginning. And that, and that's nine years old, something from yeah. the beginning, but it just, we are starting the beginning. We're going to create something for the next generations yeah. to be there. Manchester City was in a team people a lot in Manchester and people around, but always we're in the middle and we want to put in that club and always being continued to be there. So they've, told, they've sort of reaffirmed that this is a yeah. long, long yeah. project. Yeah. They reaffirmed that. It was a pleasure to me know the owner for the first time because Khaldun is a, one of the nicest persons I ever met in my life, like a dirigent, like a person. I met his family and, uh, and uh, I feel that they want to keep going and improving the mistakes because the people the people expect okay we spend money and immediately have a success yeah. but the people don't forget the other there are 20 teams in the Europe in the world yeah. spend the same moment the Manchester City yeah. the same money yeah. the same money the English teams yeah. the Spanish teams yeah. some of the Italian teams important teams like in Germany spend a lot a lot of money than, than like like a Manchester City uh, but uh, they we, we want and they want to learn and, and the people cannot expect we just spend money the results immediately. So to, to achieve to be an, an, an the elite in Europe football, we need time. And the money can help to advance that, yeah. but it's not immediately. Yeah. And, uh, and today, and then these days when I speak with Khaldun, today with uh, Sheikh Mansour, they, 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 I felt that uh, that is a commitment for a long time, for a long term. And it doesn't matter the players will be, it doesn't matter the managers will be, that is will be continue to be there because they wanna they wanna help the community and the Manchester to be recognized, not just one play, one team as strong like United there, so you know, they another one. That is a fantastic way to end the interview. Of course. On a high note, the future's bright. It'll, of be, course. it'll be even whatever we achieve this it season will be better next I season. I am pretty sure yeah. the people who take in charge for the last nine years, they will be there. The commitment will be there until, of course, they decide. But they want to improve. So we make a mistake, it's okay. Important is to know that yeah. with the challenge. When is the next one? Yeah. When is the one? To make uh, less mistakes in the future and always to be there. To be there like we are now, yeah. fighting for the three competitions. Okay? Yeah. And the target now is arriving in April. In March and April to be in fighting the for the three competitions. And after that, after that, we're going to see what we want to do.